Hi, hello. It's me. Hi guys, it's Tom. Welcome to my channel and welcome to this video. So, in today's video, I am coming clean about my addiction. You all know that I'm addicted to the colour yellow and I just kind of thought, why not put my addiction to something good like a YouTube video? So, as you all know, because of like all of my videos, I'm constantly wearing yellow, being around yellow, being obsessed with yellow, just like there's a lot of yellow on my channel and in my videos. If you know me, you probably know that I wear yellow like 99% of the time and I never really stopped talking about it. So yellow has become a big part of my life. I only really started becoming obsessed with the colour about a year ago. Um, but I've it's always been my favourite colour ever since I was a young little boy, yellow has always been my go-to preference. To me, yellow just shouts like positivity, optimism, like a good future. It's like bright, happy, fun, po just like positive, you know what I mean? Like you look at it and you're just like feel warm and cozy and happy. Like if I see like a brighter yellow like this, it's more kind of happy and positive versus like Maybe a warmer yellow like this is more cozy and comforting. Let's get cozy, 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 cozy. It really represents my personality as well, I feel like. It's just my favourite colour. So that's a little intro. Basically in this video I'm going to be showing you guys everything yellow that I own. Which is very hard, I'm definitely not going to be able to include every single item that I own because number one this video will be way too long and number two I don't think I can remember everything yellow that I own because it's just like it's a lot. Let's get right on into it and stop talking about fucking yellow. <laughs> so I just want to start off with the obvious things that you guys are probably looking at already and um, in most of my videos you can probably see my yellow walls. It's not too cool tone but it's not too warm tone it's just kind of like a perfect yellow. I wanted to make my room somewhere where I could go and just be happy and like to cheer me up and I feel like yellow walls were definitely a go-to. In this white light it looks a lot like brighter than it is but it's actually a more kind of warm tone yellow that's kind of nice and pleasant to look at and it's not too in your face but yeah my walls are yellow as you can probably already tell because I'm on the couch right now I'm going to show you guys some yellow room decor blankets and cushions and stuff like that so I have two of these yellow pillows they're kind of golden almost um but it's like a warm yellow and it's just nice and cozy and they're like velvet like you know the way you can like flip it up and down they have a little geometric pattern on it which you can't really see it's not too noticeable but it's kind of cute and yeah also something that i notice is that yellow sometimes makes me look a little bit more red than I am. Maybe it's just that this is like really yellow and my skin just looks more red in comparison. Um, just noticed that which is kind of annoying. Then I actually have more yellow pillows like the ones that are behind me. I got them from Ikea. These pillows that I was just talking about I got in pennies. I think it was two for a tenner. I have this little emoji guy. Um, I got this as a present for Christmas from my dad and my stepmom. Then I have these two yellow pillows, which are kind of, well, no, these were my first pillows I ever got um, in yellow. They I got them like, oh, at least like seven or eight years ago. It's just like a uh, kind of pastel yellow with some navy, no, with some grey palm trees on them. I got them in pennies as well. They were like, I want to say four euro each or something. I have a Homer Simpson. His skin is yellow, so that's always a great thing. I don't know. Mm. And the blanket behind me, as you can see, is yellow. A lot of the home decor that I get is usually from Pennies or Ikea because they're just cheap, affordable places that actually sell good stuff. I would never buy clothes from Pennies because they're tacky and uh, but the home decor is definitely a good thing. Under this blanket I actually have another kind of pastel yellow blanket, nothing too amazing. And then 
I'm sitting on another yellow blanket, also from Pennies. So, you know, if you're looking for a yellow blanket, just check out Pennies. So I got this little thing from Ikea. It's just a little lantern. If you guys know me, you'll know that I'm obsessed with candles. Um, kind of random, but I guess it kind of ties in with like me also being obsessed with Lush. I just love like when things smell nice. I guess I'm, that's kind of weird, but I also get a lot of compliments saying that I smell good. So, I mean, I must be doing something right. My phone case is actually yellow, which this is quite controversial because a lot of people tell me that it's lime green, but in my opinion, it is like a kind of highlighter yellow. You know, like when you use those highlighters and it's kind of like a greeny yellow, but it's still yellow. It's like a luminous yellow like glow stick yellow, you know what I mean? It's definitely yellow, so anyone who tells me that it's not can, frankly, leave me alone. <coughs> My glasses are yellow, as you can tell, they're black at the front, but underneath it's yellow and it's like a surprise. This is pretty random, but my toothbrushes are yellow. Um, I have two, one of them is electric, one of them is not. Uh, both of these I've stopped using because they've gotten flat, you know what I mean? Yeah, I'm gonna have to try and get through the rest of this pretty quick because my battery's going low, so that's always annoying. So I have some yellow books. Um, this one is How To Be Happy. I would definitely recommend this book. I got it in Avoca. My sister Jenny got it for me. But you can also get it in Urban Outfitters and you can probably look it up online. It's called How To Be Happy by Anna Barnes. And yeah, it's just full of like yellowness and positivity. And it's basically like a little book with loads of quotes and stuff like that that help you to be more positive, and I love it. I have a yellow kind of notebook um, that I did like bullet journaling in, um, but I never really finished it. I was kind of going through a phase of like trying to be a bullet journaler, and it never really worked out, but um, yeah, bullet journaling, if you don't know what it is, it's basically where you write down like to-do lists and reminders and stuff like that, but you kind of, use your artistic skills and like use markers and stuff like that and honestly I did love using it just don't really have the time anymore but maybe I will I just have a yellow notepad don't really know why I have this yellow teapot Um, my sister gave it to me for Christmas but she had it for ages and I always wanted it and she finally gave it to me so it's really nice don't know like I don't really use it as a teapot which I might actually start using it as a teapot, but I just use it for decoration. This is the little picture that she put inside. It's really ugly, but also kind of cute, and it's yellow as well. Then I got this mug kind of thing. It's like a handleless mug in um, TK Maxx, and it had like a faded kind of design on it, but then sadly it got a crack, so I never was able to use it. So I just kind of use it for decoration purposes because it's kind of cute. Then I got this like when I was probably six. I don't know why, but I just was drawn to it. So I obviously knew that I was going to end up being obsessed with yellow because it's a really cute little bird. I have this, which I use as a money pot, but it's actually supposed to be a little candle holder, only I never have candles small enough to put in it but it's just yellow with like some dots on it. Then I have this candle which is yellow, it's kind of burnt out by now. I drew this picture of my favorite YouTuber, Adeline Morin, um, and it's yellow because she's also obsessed with yellow. That's kind of controversial because a lot of people think that I only like yellow because I like her, but like I said, a lot of these stuff that I have, I have had probably before she even started her YouTube channel, definitely before I started watching her. So as much as I love her and she kind of inspired me to embrace my love for yellow more. I definitely loved yellow way before I started watching her, so I'm just gonna clarify that, but yeah. I have this little um, positivity board, kind of. It has like little like pictures and inspiration, and um, uh, like quotes and stuff like that. Let your happiness radiate like the sun. Um, then some celebrities that I want to meet or that I respect. Some YouTube goals over here and also just some inspiration for like my room decor and stuff like that. My duvet cover is yellow and so are my pillows. So that's great, you definitely loved that. So this is my iconic yellow Kankin bag, which you guys have definitely seen on my Instagram a lot or also on my vlogs and stuff like that. I always get questions about it because these 
bags go for like 100 euro sometimes, but I got it for 20 euro on a sale. Some yellow shoelaces, which I've never used yet, but they're kind of fun. A yellow mug, it's kind of gotten scratched, so I hate that, but whatever. In case I want to be a Musical.ly star. TikTok. These kind of suit me, I should probably start wearing them more. Maybe not. So these are a lot of yellow clothes that I have. Um, I could always do like a separate video like showing you or modeling all of these wonderful t-shirts and stuff like that But I just have a lot of here's my champion t-shirts really nice. I just have a lot of yellow jumpers and t-shirts and hoodies Did I just have a voice crack that's really awkward hoodies Um, here's a yellow hoodie that I love my fluffy yellow hoodie I know that I'm not showing you guys these great, but my battery is really low. And also, if you guys want me to do a full, like, yellow clothing, oh, this is Adeline Morin's merch. Girls supporting girls. Um, go buy that if you want. I don't know. I took a picture in that, and Adeline reposted it on her merch account, and I got, like, over 8,000 likes. So, thank you so much, Adeline. I love you so much. And I hope you go on tour sometime because I would so go to that, you know what I mean? I also have a pair of yellow shoes which are dirty and I'm like not going to show them. And I definitely have other stuff. Hold on one sec. Here is like a lot of like pictures and stuff like that of people and oh my god, here's some lush. I don't really want to show you guys the other ones because a lot of them are people that might not want to be on camera or whatever but as you can see the outlines of the picture is yellow so like i said that's definitely not all of my stuff because i have more stuff in my mom's house and in places that i can't find right now but that is just a taster of some of the yellow stuff that i have um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a like and comment down below what your favourite yellow thing in my room is. And if you think that this is an addiction or an obsession, or maybe you guys respect my yellowness. And yellow isn't exactly the worst thing to be addicted to in this modern world. Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Head over to my Instagram if you want to see some yellow feed and yellow pictures. I have quite a yellow aesthetic, so go and check that out. And that is all for today's video. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Wow, I have a lot of yellow stuff. I should probably stop.